Hello guys, in this video I'd like to share with you how to update Spring Security Configuration class to return HTTP status for a 1 instead of 3. I am Nam Haming at code Java.net. So you may get this issue in REST API development with the Spring Framework and Spring Security. A client provides invalid credentials but the server returns HTTP status for three forbidden, which incorrectly conveys the meaning of the error to the client. We expect that the server should return HTTP status for a one unauthorized, which better reflects the nature of the error. The solution to fix to solve this issue is configure Spring Security to return HTTP status for one when an authentication error occurs. Let me show you the coding in action. So in this IDE, I have a Java Spring project with Spring Framework, Spring Boot, Spring Security. This is a Spring Security configuration class and this is the api controller you can see the api based endpoint and i have a handler method for add student api post mapping here let me start this application and perform an api call using a curl command line in command prompt here i already have a Curl command that is used to call the add student API. You see, with the request body is a JSON document that represents information about student, and this is the API endpoint. And I use the V flag to see the verbose uh, request and response. You see. I got the status HTTP for three forbidden, but I expect that it should be for one unauthorized because I call this request without any uh, authentication information. Okay, so to uh, fix this issue, we uh, need to update the Spring Security Configuration class like this. You see in the method that returns a security filter chain here yeah. we can configure exception handling like this http dot exception handling you can see as uh, exception handling method without any argument is uh, deprecated it is marked for removal in spring security 7 here in this project i used Spring Security uh, 6.3. Okay, now we need to use a new syntax DSL or domain specific language in Spring like this exception handling, exception handling, authentication and cheap point. And you can see the method authentication and cheap point requires. Uh, parameter of type authentication entry point which is a functional interface that defines only a single method commands with three parameters request response exception so in this uh, configuration code we can use lambda expression like this request response and exception when an exception occur, we send error to the client with the status for a one instead of for three. Response send error method status code HTTP service response SC unauthorized or for a one and the exception meshes exception get meshes. So this is a configuration code to return HTTP error for one instead of for three when an authentication error occurs. Okay, quite simple, right? And let me test again. You see, 
Now I got the HTTP status for a one unauthorized, which correctly conveys the meaning of the error to the client. Make sense? Alright, so far you have seen how to update Spring Security Configuration class to return HTTP status for one instead of 403 when an authentication error occurs to better reflect the meaning of the error to the client. I hope you found this video helpful. Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share this video. Thanks for watching.